Martin Luther mother is fighting tonight to keep her ex-boyfriend in jail. She says he is dangerous and she's afraid that may not be enough. Good evening. I'm Todd McDermott. And I'm Tiffany Kenny. Thank you for joining us. Jackie Wheeler is charged with molesting a teenage girl and he's already been convicted of another child sex crime. Yet prosecutors are talking about a plea deal. Our investigative reporter Terry Parker brings us this exclusive story. Terry, you discovered there's another chapter in all this. Yes, not only is uh, this man convicted of one child sex crime and facing a second, I've learned that he is also the prime suspect in the sexual assault case against a 10-year-old girl in Port Salerno. And yet, on Thursday, he was set to get a plea deal in the only case that could have put him behind bars for a while until we investigated. Angry, upset. Uh, disbelief. I just don't understand. Holly Stippoli is furious. Her ex boyfriend, Jackie Wheeler III, charged with groping a 15 year old relative, was facing 10 to 15 years in prison. But Stippoli learned last week St. Lucie County prosecutors were giving Wheeler a plea deal set for this Thursday, downgrading his charges from lewd and lascivious molestation to simple abuse, and he could be out of jail in a few months. Shocking, Stippoli says, because this is Wheeler in 2012, caught on surveillance, touching a six-year-old girl in a Port St. Lucie Publix. He was also charged with a similar groping of a 10-year-old in Walmart. But prosecutors dropped the Walmart case, and Wheeler got probation and sex offender counseling for the Publix case. Stippoli says she at first believed Wheeler when he insisted he never touched either girl. But then, a few months later, something happened she couldn't ignore. Just days after her relative filed charges against Wheeler, Martin County detectives hauled him in for questioning in the sexual assault of a 10 year old girl in Port Salerno in April 2013. I've seen the sketch. The sketch looks just like him. And what he was wearing that day, he was wearing here. It just, it just all was starting to not make sense. The attacker lured the little girl into the woods, claiming he was looking for a lost dog. Martin County Sheriff William Snyder confirms they believe Wheeler is that man. Mr. Wheeler is a prime suspect in our case, and nothing we've done so far has eliminated him from being our prime suspect. Snyder says there's not enough evidence against Wheeler yet, but the case remains open. Our experience with, uh, with offenders that offend against children is that they're extremely dangerous and they tend to reoffend. To Holly Stippoli, it's reason enough. Jackie Wheeler should not be getting a plea deal that could have him back on the streets anytime soon. But I'm just trying, I'm doing this because I don't want him to hurt no one else. I don't want another girl to get hurt. You know, it's bad enough it happened these times, but you know, what's next? But tonight, there is a surprising new development. I just talked to the St. Lucie County prosecutor this afternoon, and they have suddenly withdrawn that scheduled plea deal. The prosecutor won't say why, but this change of plea happened since we began investigating last week. Wheeler will still be in court on Thursday. We will be there, too, and bring you the latest developments. In the newsroom, Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.